can trust be restored? This was the question European leaders were asking in Brussels as one U.S. spying allegation after another was revealed this week. German Chancellor Angela Merkel called on Brazil to draft a UN resolution and joined up with France to call for a no-spying transatlantic code of conduct to be drawn up by the end of the year. But this intelligence analyst has doubts. I'm not so sure it's very realistic to, to think that the US will settle, will sit uh, around the table with the French, uh, the Germans and others and discuss their intelligence programs and discuss any limitation to their intelligence capacity. And when it comes to, to international commerce, for instance, when it comes to uh, dealing with China, when it comes to selling products, high added value products to, to other parts of the world, you are no more the, the best friend of, uh, of your ally, you are a competitor. EU leaders warned that rather than helping the fight against terrorism, the lack of trust between allies could harm intelligence sharing. The US aimed to calm the storm of suspicion. It is no secret that over the last few months, uh, the president has directed us to review, directed the government to review our surveillance capabilities, including with respect to our foreign partners. We want to ensure we're collecting information because we need it and not just because we can. Um, going forward, we will, of course, continue to gather the information we need to keep ourselves and our allies safe. The NSA was apparently subject to a cyber attack with their website being taken down. Though there's no confirmation of the source of the attack, the agency certainly has an expanding range of people with grievances against it.